All right guys, welcome back to Sploosh MTV. This is a mountain biking channel. One of the most important things in mountain biking is getting your bike to the trails. So we're gonna be getting into that today. Now, while a lot of riders will just go out and buy themselves a Tacoma, which no hate, I love the taco truck. I wanna be able to show you guys how to put a bike rack on any car, an enthusiast vehicle even. So if you are a car enthusiast like myself, this video is gonna be for you because we're gonna go over the bike rack that can fit pretty much any four door car. So if you don't wanna get rid of your sporty little car, stick around and let's get into this bike rack. Now, before we go too much further, I do wanna say I am well versed in suction cup racks like Sea Sucker and the other off brands there are. That being said, I have used them for many years and the main thing with that is taking off the front wheel and constantly just messing with suction cups and sometimes over years of bad conditions, things like that, or poor maintenance, those things can fail as well. So this is gonna be more along the lines of a more secure, stable, longer term bike rack. All right, so first, let's get into what car I'm putting this rack on. This is my 2020 Volkswagen GLI Autobahn with the black package. Bro, why are you dirty? I literally just cleaned you. Well, it's not gonna be a clean car for the video. I love this car. It's quick, it's loud, it's kind of obnoxious, it's a manual. However, it cannot take a hitch. Therefore, that leaves me with one other option for transporting bikes safely and securely, especially high-end mountain bikes, and that's gonna be on the roof. So let's show you the rack. So this is the Rocky Mount Brass Knuckles and we're going to be mounting it on the Rhino Rack V2500 crossbars. I believe these crossbars are universal to any four-door car, specifically sedans. You do have to double check the sizing on your bars. They are variable to certain points, but double check the sizing specific to your vehicle just to make sure that they will fit the maximum size of your vehicle. These crossbars come with locks on every single uh, side so once they're on there no one can take them off but you if you have the key of course the useful pieces you're, that you're gonna need for the installation of your Rocky Mounts brass knuckles is gonna be the key that opens up the locking portion to keep this rack secure as well as the Allen key that secures everything in place so just in case you're buying these secondhand, like myself, you'll know what you need. This rack will work with pretty much any crossbars, but you do want to make sure you have slightly thicker crossbars. I believe most factory crossbars will work as well for most cars. However, the really, really thin rails may not be the greatest option, but they will work. So. The reason I say that is because it has these little latches right here, as you see that one's latched in, and you just pick it up and pop it into place, and we're gonna tighten that down. To tighten it down, unlock this bad boy with the key, it comes right off. From there, you've got a very dirty, but pretty simple mechanism. You take your Allen key, that goes in here, and that gets tightened down until you can't tighten it anymore. As you can see, as this gets tightened down, it cinches up this little pulley system that tightens everything up down here. And now most importantly, once you're done tightening that up, you wanna make sure you cover things back up, but not just that, you wanna make sure you lock that cover into place so no one else can come through and simply remove your bike rack with an Allen key. Now, for the rear portion of the rack, as you can see, I have not fastened this one, but I have fastened that one. Just a little clip that two ends of it get screwed in place.
gotta resist the masculine urge to say that ain't going anywhere. Once your bike rack is locked into place, that's pretty much it. You're done. The best part about this is, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get your bike on and off this rack because it is truly game changing and it makes me so much more motivated to ride because I know I can just come out, literally just throw my bike up, lock it down, ride out. Let's get a bike on this car. All right, so let's show you the bikes that are going on this rack to show you the versatility of the rack and what kind of bikes you can go on there. First, we've got the big boy full 29er high tower, and then we've got something new that you guys haven't seen yet, project bike. Don't ask me what it is, you guys will find out soon. Big old high tower. All right, so it literally just pops on, get it into this little groove here, swing arm goes up, drop it down. If you have a fender, it doesn't work too well, but you see how it just does not quite meet my fender there, and then Put your fingers in the brass knuckles, crank it down. As easy as that. Strap for the front, in, crank. Strap for the back, in, crank. Just like that, you've already mounted one of your bikes. Look how freaking stable this is. I'm gonna shake this thing as hard as I can. You could be ripping 120 down the freeway and it's not going anywhere. All right, and another really important part of this is this key that I showed you earlier that you're gonna need. This key, goes right into this arm, twists in, and now it is locked. Nobody can open that except for whoever has this key. So you can go into your restaurants, get your post-ride meals in, and just have a good time away from your bike and away from your car without having to worry about it getting stolen. Now, to show you the variety of bikes that you can get on this rack, I'm also gonna be showing you my new project gravel bike. But these are much, much skinnier tires than the 2.4s I have on the high tower. So will they be affected by the rack? Absolutely not. Check this out. And that's it. You've got two bikes mounted up. Could have done that in about 15, 20 seconds tops. As you can see, it's so easy to get your bikes on and off this rack that it makes it super motivating to go for rides. You can literally just throw your bike on, take your bike off in a matter of seconds. Plus the security of locking the bikes on there, going out to your post ride meals and things like that with your boys. So makes for a really, really good safe rack. Now I'll show you how easy it is to get the bike off the rack as well. You're gonna do the same process, just backwards. Back strap off first. It also has these very neat little hooks. Check out these little hooks. Right there, when you take your strap off, boom, connects right in there. Same as the first step going backwards. Hold on to your bike so it doesn't fall off. Release the arm, take it off. Bike comes right off and you're done. That's how easy it is. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for this review. The Rocky Mounts rack has really helped me out here just because it's so much easier. My car can't take a hitch. It's likely if you're watching this video, your own car might not be able to take a hitch either. So roof rack for any four door car. I think it's focused more towards sedans, but Rocky Mounts brass knuckles. I can't say enough good things about it. This thing, I've taken it on eight hour road trips. I've taken it all over the place. It does really well, even up to 120 miles an hour. It is fine. Perfectly good rack for all of your needs for mountain biking, gravel, road bikes could probably fit on here pretty comfortably. You name it. All these parts are adjustable. Everything is maintainable. So it's a good long-term rack as well. As always, I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you like what you see, make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more content like this. We do a lot more mountain biking than we do reviews, but every now and then, I wanna point out something that I really enjoy using. Drop a comment, let me know how you feel about this rack and what kind of rack you use, and if you like it better, especially if it's a roof rack. That's gonna do it for this one, guys. Thanks for hopping on the bike with me, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. And just like that, you've already mounted one of your bike two posts. <laughs> Did it just die? No, it didn't die. Say it again.